Edum closely knitted into the central business district of the Ashanti Regional Capital Kumasi has gained itself the accolade of being one of the busiest places for brisk business in the country. But in the very heart of Edum and Asafu Bibi is home to the biggest business of brothels in Ghana. Okay. I am not the rainy name. Commercial sex workers as old as women in their 40s and as young as 10 year old girls work in cubicles 24 hours offering sex for money. It appears to be a rather organized den of wild girls who know their rules, understand their business, and recognize their boundaries. Younger prostitutes who wear wigs to look mature are housed in cubicles that take three girls at a time for a daily rent of 45 cities, utilities excluded. There are single room brothels inhabited by senior prostitutes. These accommodate one prostitute and her customer at a time for a higher rental fee. They can also be invited to a specific location of the customer hotels or their home but ultimate news understands this is mostly adhered to under certain conditions deep in the trenches of this jungle is the emergence of a nigerian syndicate whose stock in trade is nigerian girls they are well networked hunting girls from restaurants and streets in nigeria with juicy offers of lucrative jobs in ghana some of them who have been in the country for the past two to three months confess to making money between 200 and 350 cities a day monies that go to their pay masters better still their slave masters 24 year old jennifer was part of a group trafficked into ghana two months back she left her work as a waitress in a restaurant in nigeria only to meet the unexpected What does she do? She's a prostitute. What did she tell you you were going to do in Ghana? She told me I'm coming, I'm coming here to do this work. But she told me in three weeks' time, I will pay her, I will have the money that I will pay her, 60 million, and half Nigeria, 1 million. That is 100 million here. Yeah. That is what she told me. That is why I came here. And how long have you been in Ghana? Two months now. And all this time you've been... Doing what? Prostitution? The prostitution. But when she bring a new girl, she when the room she was the room I was in a room, she when she bring the new girl from Nigeria, she throw me out of the room and keep the and um, give the, the room to the girl and keep me in a safe. So every night I came out to work. So if you don't have money to give her, you're now her enemy. So she doesn't care about me. Since two weeks now, I've been suffering, so that's why I said I want to go back to my country. So she keeps you in a safe where? In a hotel. And that place, there's no work there. I've been suffering, even to see food that it has not been seen. So how do you take care of yourself then? Is this my? Is one of my sister? She, she that is here. She's the one who has been helping me since that two weeks. What does she also do? She's a prostitute. So how much do you pay your madam to bring you? Yes. She said I will pay her 60 million. And I've paid her half of the one. I've paid her 37 million. Within two months? Yes. Are there receipts to that effect? Sorry. You pay receipts. You get receipts for the job done, the payment you've done for her. No. So how can you prove that you've paid? Okay, yeah, yeah. I wrote it down. 
if I give her money, any day I give her money, I wrote the date, the the date and the month and the amount I used to give her. I have it um right down in my book. It doesn't look like you are doing this alone. How many how many of Nigerians? We are more than we are plenty. How many? We are plenty. Some in that place, even they even brought some girls day before yesterday. Small girl. When they come, they put her weak. They put the girls weak. If you are small, they will put you weak on your head so that you look mature. So that police will not harass you on, on the road. That's why they go and put big weak in the girls, small, small ones in their head. We are many. We are, let me say, our, our, all the old Nigerian girls, this is where they came to do prostitution. And where do you operate? Where do you go at night or day or morning to have your prostitution done? Where? In the night, if you're working in, if you're doing road work, you go to Vienna, any club around, or you stand on the road. That is how we have been suffering here. So how do they get the girls into the country? Via when the they see you, they will, they will approach to you. They will tell you that, oh, maybe if they see that you you've not opened eye, they will tell you, ah, when you come to Ghana, there's one work, uh, you there's one um man, when you see you go to them or they are working you will be working in a um ship and you they will be paying you um plenty money. So when they call that name, that plenty money in Nigeria, the thing will the thing will no, as in when you hear that money, that amount of money, you will just get shocked and you say, ah, that kind of money, I can make it in Ghana. Why? Why would I follow you? And yeah, let's go. Before you know it, you will follow them. When you came here, what they told you is not what you said. Some, they told you that you, you are coming here to do prostitution. You will say, okay, no problem. They will tell you that you have plenty money in Ghana. Then when you go to Nigeria, you can build house, do everything with that money. Were you a prostitute back in Nigeria? I was not a prostitute. I was working. I was working in Tantalize at 21 weeks. But I used to have connection on my phone. Maybe when a man, a big man came to the place, buy something, he might like me. And he will say, ah, baby, I want to see you somewhere. I will go. The man will give me plenty of money. Tomorrow morning, I go back to my work. You go and do what? Hmm? When the big man calls you and you go, you go and do what? When you go, maybe he wants to date you or what? Maybe when you go to him, you you he will ask what do you need? What kind of thing do you need? Do you want him to help you? Maybe when you tell him, if they think you and the person, if they think um, if they think you you and the man said, if they think you and the man said work, you people will start dating and he will be helping you. Would that include sex? You why won't you sex? You sex him. Is he not a man? Are you are a girl? One day you 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 two will sex. So then you were open to this idea of prostitution even back in Nigeria and now in Ghana, but it's gone bad. Yeah, it's, it's too much. In Nigeria, I don't I don't go for I don't go standing on the road. My own is that I'm working. So when when big men came, maybe they will like me. They will, they will ask me to come when I come when we start dating. You will sex even married people they sex. So, so it's like corporate prostitution. Yes. Door to door prostitution. Not not you can stand on the road. People will be seeing you that this is what you do. It's just a um, connection. You and the person, if you like, if the person like you, the way you treat the person, people will start um start um friendship from there. The person will be helping you. She tells Ultimate News she is bound to pay her madam a camping in the girls' trafficking business Vivian Inkechi 8,000 cities to buy her freedom. More shocking, Jennifer cannot do otherwise or run away because she, like all her other Nigerian counterparts, is under a spiritual oath. And if, when you have money, you just go direct and give them. Like see, like see if they are using something on you. When you have money, you can't save money on your own. You, when you have money, if you have like three million, two million, you just go and give them. You suspect there's something that they do that if you get the money, 
Yes. It's an alternate. Yes. What is, what do they do? Maybe they use charm. They will charm you. Because yes. if yes. they charm you, when any money you have, you give them. You won't even take anyone to hide or to save on your own. Is this something that you feel or the others also have the same position? Me, sir, I feel it. And others, Mr. Friend. When you came here, they will say, uh, you will do, you will take an oath. When you come, they will ask you, do you, they will say you will take an oath so that you won't run away. What kind of oath? What, what, what processes do you go through? They will cut your hair. When they cut your hair, they will cut your finger and cut your vagina hair. And they will um, cut you, they will use razor and cut your thing, your hand. And when you, they will not put the blood on water and you will not drink it. When you drink it, they will not say, uh, the God of this land, uh, this girl, she have come to Ghana, she will pay me my money if she did not, if she did not pay the money, the amount of money I asked her to pay me, she will die. That if she's going back or she wants to run away, if she's going back to Nigeria, she will die. That is what that is the kind of oath they give all the whole girls. That is what they do to them. Did you do that? I did it. They forced me. There's one of my girlfriends now, she have run away. We are two that came to this country. Now she's in Accra. She says she won't pay them again. Now she's in Accra. So now that you are rebelling against your madam. Mm. Are you not afraid the charm will work on you? I'm not afraid because I've suffered a lot in this country. That is why I'm not afraid. So anything she likes, let her do. I even told her last week, son, that I won't give her any money again. But if she likes, let her break egg in this country. It's not afraid. So that is what I told her last week, son. So since Sunday and today, Thursday, you've not given her any money? I'm not giving her any money and I've not been seeing her. So that day I told her that maybe she went and go and seize, uh, maybe she went and go and do something so that if I go to road or go anywhere, I won't see her. Is the charm having an effect on you? That is what she did. Because if, if it's not what she did, if I go road, in any way I like, let me go to her, I will have money. Because when I told her that I don't want to pay her again, that is what they normally do. They will go and seize you. You won't work. You won't have money again. How much money were you making a night? Maybe a day, if there is work, you will work 2 million, 1.5. And when you came here, you are the one to feed yourself, and make your hair, clothe yourself, buy water, everything, you are the one, and you are still paying them. The room you are, you are the one who is paying for the household money. They won't pay it for you. What they know is that you should give them money. That is all they need. Are Ghanaians involved? The prostitution, the syndicate, the madame? Are some Ghanaians of them, involved? Some of them, they are involved, yes. They are involved. Your family back in Nigeria, are they aware of what you're doing? I came here for money. So what I expect is not what I see. So they are, I, they, they are not aware. So they don't know you are a prostitute in Ghana? Don't your friends call back home? I know they tell them what you do. Yeah. So, you want to go back to Nigeria, you, you are telling us. Yes. Why? Because I don't like the way here. I'm suffering. I want to go back to Nigeria. So now you want to go back to Nigeria? Yes. What kind of help do you want? I need my madam to give me half of that money again so that I can go back to Nigeria. Because the money I give her now is, is, is plain to you. It's more than uh, the transport the transport fare from Nigeria to Ghana. It's, it's, it's more than that. So I've paid her her transport, transport fare. And it's still many plenty money. So I need her to give me half of the money. Let me go back to Nigeria. What is the name of your madam and where can we find her? Her name is Yonkechi. Her English name is Vivian. She's in Edu. Edu where? Edu, Kumasi. That's all you know? Yes. Do you want your madam arrested? I want her. Let them arrest her. So that she can give me my money. Half of my money. Because they are very wicked. As I'm talking to you now, there are some girls in the, in the road coming to Ghana.
to do, to do this way. There how, are plenty. How, how do you know? Yes, because every day girls, they, they, they are even deporting them from their country, coming to another, another country to do prostitution. That's what, if you see when they are bringing them, it, it's, when you hear, hey, hello, are they coming? You would think that it's some, some, something that they want to um, boost, that they want to bring to Ghana. You don't know that it's girls that they want to transfer to Ghana yet yeah, to do prostitution. When you see them, you think they are coming here to do good work. They are coming here to do prostitution. When you pay them finish, they will tie to you. Or if you do not pay them, they might get you mad. But as I'm here now, you can't get me mad. What I need is the damn money, half of it. Give me, give it to me. Let me go back to my country. Anything you did is for your head. It's not for my head. Tension and fierce competition exist between the Ghanaian and Nigerian sex workers in the CBD, resulting in deadly clashes, sometimes leading to serious bodily injuries. It is not a doom alone where the brothels are booming. Other lucrative areas in Kumasi where girls are now trafficked for sex trade are the Sokoban Wood Village and Tafo Pankrano, which have now become fertile ground for prostitution. 24-year-old Precious, for instance, plies her trade in the Sokoban Wood Village in a brothel owned by one wealthy Nigerian campaign, Ingozi Black Carol. The brothels in this part of town were wooden structures where prostitutes rent a cubicle for 20 cities. Precious has children back in Nigeria. She tells Ultimate News she fears to go back because her family would disown her if they find out what she is doing here in Ghana. Wood Village. Yeah. So Sokobai Wood, Wood Village. Yes, there okay. is no money there. You operate there as well? Hmm? You, so you were at the Sokobai Wood Village? Yeah. So that's day or money. night? Yeah, I'm there day and night. So people could still come there in the morning to have sex? People, could come there afternoon to have sex? And evening to have sex? Yeah, so I'm there I'm not getting money to pay the woman. Because when I keep it where you don't get money, you know how you pay the woman. So I was staying there when I first sick, blood was coming out in my nose. So this man didn't come. He came one last time. Since then, he hasn't come again. So when I owe my house rent, I couldn't pay it because of my sickness. Do you come in contact with armed robbers? Armed robbers? Yeah. At where? In your line of duty? No. Okay. So... So what kind of people come to you to have sex? Yeah, I don't know them, they don't know me. When I came in, they want to do shop. I don't have this anything. I fuck them, then go their way. Yeah, I go my own stuff. Do you enjoy it? No, oh, I'm not going to enjoy it. I should work. You give me my money. So you don't enjoy it? not my boyfriend. You don't enjoy the sex? Yeah, I don't enjoy it because you're not my boyfriend, you're not my husband. What can they do to your body when they have having sex with you? Can they touch your breasts? Me, I don't have a head to touch my breasts. Why? You won't touch my body because that one, I hate those ones. Why? If you don't want to fuck, you see, you want to touch me, suck my brow, okay, to be stuff, you bring fight between me and me. Okay. Why? And I don't try for that. Why? I don't like you. Hey. So if my husband or my guy, the father of my guy, I can't leave my body and have my guy. But if another person, I can't do it. And no matter any amount of people, I can't do it. How old are your kids? 10 years. I give birth at the age of 14 years old. You give birth at the age of 14? Yes. Other illicit activities booming alongside the sex trade is narcotics. The pimps and the prostitutes themselves are hooked onto cocaine, marijuana, and tramol usage. This is exploited by drug traffickers to haul in the drugs. The revelation even gets murkier when it turns out that chiefs, traditional authorities, persons in high places, and police personnel are neck deep protecting and benefiting from the human trafficking and sex trade. Ultimate News is reliably informed some of these people regularly go for monies as high as 10,000 cities from the madams to keep them and their pimps working under safety of authority.